Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brave Knight video. Alright, today's video we're gonna try to do the guild raids for the new boss, the Petra Ceratops. Alright, so this boss is apparently in the desert. The concept is a little bit different. The boss is immune to a couple of things. But let me see if I can show you guys the strat that I so far have been using. So, you can see my guildmates are doing pretty well. They are doing a lot of, a lot of damage, but I'm right here at the bottom. Alright, so that's there's a reason for that. So let me jump into the level 10 boss and then I can show you guys and give you guys a better idea. Now, there is something that the level 1 boss or the level 2 boss do, but the level 10 boss can do even more in terms of the damage. Alright, he can one-shot you, he can kill you. Now, if you guys are not aware, very important, this is the key thing right here. Mercenaries become inoperable for every third turn. So that means your mercenaries, like in this case, this formation, let's say, is Sigmund moves and then 2 is Galania. And then in this case, 3 Delsa Hitne will not get to move at all. Every third turn, so 3, 6, 9 will not get to move. So in this case, Delsa Hitne, a Seto, and Vals will not get to move. So I would advise you guys to use something like a Celia or something. So the strat that I've been using so far, that's been working for me, is this strat right here. Alright, so what is this strat all about? So we have Iron going in. So if you guys are not aware, the boss has this ability that deals direct additional damage and it's very insane, it's very crazy, uh, you can't really avoid these things and it will stun you as well. Alright, so we're gonna deal with the stun later but this thing is very annoying. Every time a defender hits the boss, you know, he will reset the duration of his buff and he will basically have this converts incoming damage and deletes it 90% of the incoming damage and he's immune to stats weakening and also attack interference. So DOT is the best way to go about it so therefore Ayan is quite important right here. What Ayan can do is reduce the opponent's edgy right here via stigma. So if you guys are not familiar, boss has 100% edgy. So you gotta remove that first, you gotta reduce that. So putting Ayan first is gonna be very very helpful alongside with the DOT right here. Alright, so DOT alongside with this boost is gonna help. And then I went with Elijah to hopefully concentrate fire the boss to reduce the stats even further. So that way everyone can survive. Number 3 is Helga. Helga doesn't need to move, so that's why you want to put Helga at number 3. And then number 4, in this case, we have Celia charging up. Joseph to extend the duration of the DOT or whatever that's been going on. And then 4, 5, 6, Seir will not move. Seir doesn't need to move here because uh, she's just there to provide Leda Krat with the ability of the stigma. Right, and then we have Ceres followed by Bela Seir and Leda Krat will not move at the end. So let me show you guys this strat. And so far, I've been getting about 7 to 8 million so far. Alright, so let me highlight the boss. So this is what has been going on. Okay, so Helga will give everybody debuff immunity. So therefore, no one should be stunned. And Elijah is very important right here. Uh, I've been swapping Elijah with like Gunter or other characters that can use DOT, can deal DOT. But the thing is, the boss deals so much damage that everyone just dies. So having Elijah to reduce and uh, boss's stats is going to be really helpful. Now as you can see, this is about 8.4 million, uh, 8.4 million and then 8,000. 8, so let me just show you guys a different strat. Maybe you don't have Celia, which I can understand. You'd want to build Celia, she's a mileage only unit. So in that case, you can replace her with two units. Number one, it can be Dio Maron. So let me show you guys my Dio Maron right here. So Ceres is pretty much, uh, I wouldn't say she's a must, but she does boost the damage by a lot because she gives so much crit rate and crit damage to everyone right here. So let's try replacing Celia with Diomaron at number 4 and then you guys can observe the damage difference. I'm gonna say the Diomaron one is gonna deal a little bit less damage, not by much. My Diomaron is a plus 10, so do keep that in mind. I don't think you need Diomaron at plus 10 though. You just want to have that decomposition going on. Alright, so just to tick the boss a couple of turns. Okay, so let me see if I can show you the battle statistics this time. So just now we got about 8.4 million, this time we got about 8.1 million. So you don't really need Celia, Diomeron is fine. So let me show you the details. As you can see, Ledakrat, Seir, Bela Seir, these are the three highest dealing damage, right? So Ledakrat is really really awesome right there. Let's say you don't have Celia, you don't have Diomeron. Who else can you use? Good question, good question. Luckily, I have a solution for you. Kyria is an option. Unfortunately, my Kyria is like a plus 6. I'm a bit lazy to swap my runes away, but you can use like Rage Rune, that way you will deal more damage. But let me show you guys, Kyria can be an option. Plus 6 is fine. Alright, as long as you get the decomposition up, you just want to deal the DOT, take a bit of damage alongside with reduce the boss's stats as well. So this is going to deal 
significantly less. So Celia is still the best option, followed by Diomiron, followed by Kira. Actually, Kira might even she might be able to deal more. I'm not too sure because mine is number one is plus six. Number two, I don't have proper runes on her. I feel like if you go for like two rage runes, it's gonna be much better. So you can see Diomiron and Kira probably doesn't do that much of a damage difference right there, right? As you can see right here. Um. So yeah, go with whichever that you have the higher skill level of, and the higher runes, I guess. Alright, so that's it for the guide. Guys, let's jump into some Guild Wars since it's been so long since I've done some Guild Wars. And let's see if I can demonstrate a bit of Dwen right here. Alright, so first enemy, Waifu Crew. We have a Venaka form right here. Okay, this is going to be really interesting. I'm guessing it's Lloyd first. What is this? Howling Wolf? Okay, let's test out if I can... If I can use Dwen would be awesome. This is what I have the plan. We're gonna go in with Dwen. Boom, boom, boom. Enemy is gonna go first with Asmut. Asmut can't do anything to me. Uh, because, you know, this is like, there's a hit in a calm, right? And then Lloyd will not get to move because I'm gonna stun the Lloyd. And then we're gonna try this with, yeah, I think this will work. We're gonna go in all the way. This shouldn't be a problem. There's a hit in a calm is really, really strong. Howling Wolf. Okay, so that's gonna decrease my my attack, I think. It doesn't matter. So we're gonna stun so the Lloyd can't move. Asmode can't do anything to Desa Hinecom in case you guys are wondering. So Sigmund got charm right here, right? Okay, so we're gonna go in with Dwen first. Look at the power of Dwen. They are protected by the Galenia. Galenia will die. But look at... Venaka just got obliterated. She got destroyed. And look at that Sigmund killing the own teammates. What is this? And yep, I think we got this. G G. Uh, Seto. Okay, that Sigmund might be there. The reason why I brought Elena is there's a Lucius at the back, so that's going to be a bit annoying. But yeah, Dwen should take care of everything for me. Debuff immunity and stuff, right? Oh my God, Sigmund is still charm. <laughs> that Sigmund is doing a lot of work for me. Yeah, I think we got this. I have a lot of direct damage going in. But yeah, Dwen just enables a lot of possibilities for Delsa Hitne comms. Just warrior comms in general, right? Then we're gonna slowly go in with Elena. Look at that, so easy. Alright guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the guild raids. New strat, as always, if you guys haven't already, subscribe, give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day, goodbye.